Oh, well, hello, everybody. Welcome to another Printify webinar. I am Martin, your host today, and we have got another winner for you. We'll be exploring the ins and outs of the world of design so you can put up some awesome winning designs. And first off, let me just apologize for the mix up with the times uh, due to daylight savings time. We're starting a little bit, uh, a little bit off, um, but uh, thank you very much for joining. And I see a lot of you are already active in chat. And just to prove that we're live, uh, Luis Caro, uh, yes, it would be funny if we recorded this, but we're actually live. So Stephen Latimer, yes, uh, it is, uh, we, we, are, we are live and we will be having a live chat later. So thank you all for joining us. Uh, I am joined today by uh, design superstar and Printify employee, Diana Yarmakova, who has agreed to share her wisdom with all of you. We'll go through all the ins and outs of design and uh, so that you, can uh, be a, a, a design wizard. How are you doing, Diana? Hey, Martin, I'm doing great. Hi, great. everyone. Are, are you excited? Yes, yeah, super excited to talk about design today. Wonderful. I know I'm excited too. I know all of you are excited because this is a topic that you've been asking for. So we've put a lot of effort into combi to compiling a, uh, a very comprehensive uh, webinar for you. Um, so, but since it is a very broad subject, what we're going to do as we explore some of the topics today, what we're going to do is we're going to pop a lot of uh, links to YouTube, our YouTube videos, our uh, blog articles, our help center articles, and our design guide, that sort of stuff. So as those come into chat, go ahead and click on those and bookmark those and use those as a supplementary, as supplementary information for what we talk about today. Otherwise, we, this webinar would be hours and hours long because it is a very, it is a very broad subject, okay? So um, with that said, um, let's test out that chat feature. I know we have Vero Beach, Florida checking in already, but I love seeing where all of you are joining from. So um, put, put, put where you're joining, uh, joining us from into the chat so we can all see uh, what, uh, uh, where, where you're from, uh, city, state, province, country. Again, I love seeing what, what an international audience we draw in, okay? So it looks like we've got uh, Chicago, Colorado, keeping you busy from Chicago, uh, Granby, Connecticut. I don't know where that is, Kelly, but I'm sure it's beautiful. Okay, and uh, John's from New York, Georgia, Wisconsin, uh, Jamaica. Hi, Camille from Jamaica. Wonderful. I wish I could have some of that weather. Okay, but um, speaking of the chat, as we go through today's presentation, you're gonna have some questions and uh, no need to hang on to those until the end. Go ahead and pop those into the chat. Our moderator, Christops and Sarang, will uh, compile those and will address those and Diana and I will be happy to address those at the end of today's session in the live Q&A, okay? All right, so now that we've got that out of the way, let's go ahead and move on with our webinar. Now, uh, we're going to be having a lot of fun. We're going to be giving away some prizes. We're going to give away some, some coupon codes. But uh, at the end of the presentation, we'll pop in a link into the chat to a, a link to a very short survey. We'll have a uh, trivia question based on today's presentation, so pay attention. Three lucky winners who answered the trivia question correctly will be randomly selected to win the prize package that, that we give away of a Printify, uh, uh, Printify hoodie, uh, Printify webinars hoodie, a customized Printify webinars mug, and $50 of Printify sales credit placed directly into your account. So pay attention, okay? And at a couple times, excuse me, at two times during today's presentation, we'll be doing our coupon code giveaway, where I will ask you to have your Printify accounts ready, click on that little green button on the upper right-hand corner, and from the drop-down menu, select Payments, and then scroll down to where it says Coupon, because we'll be giving away two coupon codes, and whomever puts that coupon code in first will win $50 of Printify sales credit placed directly into your account. And be mindful that uh, you won't see any bells and whistles say saying that you won. You will, uh, you will either receive uh, 50 bucks if you are the first to put, put in the coupon code, or you will see the message, this coupon does not exist because, well, you were a little bit too slow and better luck next time. And also, be mindful that these coupons have an expiration date, so be sure to use those, uh, use those in a timely manner, okay? All right. Well, now I would like to do a plug for my live Q&A sessions. I want to invite everybody watching, either live or on replay, to join me for a sit down. I do them on Mondays and Wednesdays. You're free. They're 100% free. So come join me. I love to talk about anything print on demand, anything Printify, all in an effort to make you a more knowledgeable print on demand seller and make you more profitable. So. 
Come one, come all, join me, let's sit down. I turn the cameras on, the mics go hot, and we take the conversation wherever you wanna go. And my only goal is to be of service to you, okay? Wonderful, so we're gonna pop that, pop that link in, into the chat so you can click and book your spot today. Okay, all right, well, here's what we're gonna cover in today's, in today's webinar. We're gonna talk a little bit about what you should know before you start. Uh, we're gonna go over some design fundamentals. Deanna has, has, has a presentation all, all prepared for us. She's gonna do a demo about designing with one, of the, with one of the online design tools, Canva. And we're gonna talk about print-on-demand design specifics and using Printify's mock-up generator. Deanna's gonna do another demo. Uh, some practical design tips. We're gonna talk about the key takeaways and then of course that live Q&A session that I promised you. Okay, but the first place I want you to start before we even get going is we're gonna pop the link to our design guide into the chat. This is spot number one where you need to begin. This is our, our, our design guide where we talk about all the basics of what you should know before you start designing with Printify. You'll learn all about, uh, uh, all about the formats and the ins and outs of of designing, and of course, if you have any questions at all, you can either join me for my live Q&A session or reach out to a live support agent anytime, day or night, 24 seven, by clicking on that little green button in the lower left-hand corner of your Printify account, okay? But start with it with the design guide, all right? Well, let's talk about what you should know before you start designing. We'll get through this part quickly because I want to get to, I wanna get to all, the, all the meat and potatoes of what Deanna has, has prepared for you. Okay. First of all, let's demystify designing. Okay. You don't necessarily need prior experience. And what I mean by that is there is a multitude of tools out there for that are that are designed for the beginner with the beginner in mind. And we'll go over those a little bit later in the presentation. But suffice it to say that anybody can design using the using the tools that are available today. And you can make them your own. And one thing that has uh, that I've learned by working with the merchants that I have in the past is for merchants that didn't necessarily come with a lot of design experience, that is the part of the process that they really grew to enjoy, and it became their favorite uh, became their favorite part of of being a uh, print on demand merchant. Okay, because they were able to uh, express their creativity, and they found it super cool when they created a design and they took it from from their mind and uh, created it on on a uh, on a on a design tool, uploaded it to a product and then people started buying it because you have that knowledge that somewhere out there, there is someone wearing your design and it's a very fulfilling and a very rewarding feeling. So I hope you can come to, to that same conclusion as well. So, but where do you look for design inspiration? And you look for, and you can find it everywhere around you. Um, you can find it in the online spaces in which you, uh, in, in which you inhabit and um, it's like social media platforms, you know, Etsy, eBay, look at your competition. I'm gonna be saying that a lot for you to check out your competition and, and see what they do um, so that you can uh, uh, build on their ideas and make them your own, okay? But, uh, but getting in the mindset of your, uh, of, of your target customer is gonna be crucial. And we'll, go, we'll do a little bit deeper dive on it uh, in, in later on in the presentation, but I thought it was worth mentioning here, at, at least at the top, that research and uh, really um, discovering who it is you're targeting is gonna be the key to creating designs that they wanna buy, okay? And that's exactly what I mean here. You have to know who you are designing for. Okay, and it starts with the research. And if you're part of that target demographic, like say you're creating products for people uh, that have the same interest of you, well, as you, well then you're already starting ahead of the game because you're designing products for yourself. Okay, but knowing who you're targeting is the key. All right. Well, that's enough out of me, at least for this part. I'll, uh, I, I would love to turn the uh, webinar over to Deanna so she can share with you her expertise. And if you have any questions, make sure you pop those into the chat and we, we would be happy to address those at the end of today's presentation. So Deanna, please take it away. Yeah, let's talk about design fundamentals. And uh, first uh, topic I want to cover is color. Uh, color can really impact the mood and the message of your design. Colors can be divided into categories based on temperature, like warm, cool, and neutral. Warm colors like red, yellow, and orange uh, can create a sense of energy and excitement. 
But cool, cool colors uh, like blue, green, and purple are usually associated with feeling relaxed and calm. Also, you can use neutral colors like black, white, and gray to balance out your design. So when you do use a bright color, it will really stand out. Another important thing about uh, color is contrast. Uh, sorry, uh, last previous slide. Uh, yeah, uh, con uh, contrast can um, bring attention uh, to some parts of your design and it will uh, also indicate hierarchy in your design. So you can um, use higher uh, contrast for the parts uh, of your design that you want to stand out. And also it can help you uh, reinforce your idea uh, for more bold and dynamic designs, you can use high contrast and you can use lower contrast for more subtle design. But now let's take a look at some examples. So as you can see, uh, here are some examples of color combinations and in good examples of color combinations, you can see that they are easy on the eye, they have good contrast, and they are also easy to read. But now let's jump to the next topic, uh, typography. Okay, Bef before we do, I wanna make sure we pop in a link into the chat about colors. We've got an, a blog article that uh, that talks about the popular colors of, of, of 2023. Uh, it's, a, it's a very I interesting read, so you know what colors at least the uh, tastemakers out there are looking to uh, are, are looking to feature this year. Okay, sorry to interrupt. Let's go ahead and continue. No problem. Thank you. So yeah, when uh, it comes to text elements in in your designs, make sure uh, that your text is clear and it is very easy to read. So choose fonts that are very clear and also pay attention that they are easy to read also in different sizes. Um, also make sure to properly align your text. Um, it can really help you create structure in your design. Another important thing is hierarchy. Uh, it will show the order of importance of your text elements and it can be done through different uh, uh, font sizes and weight. Also, by being consistent with your font choice and your sizes, you can create a cohesive look and it can help you uh, really establish your brand identity. And uh, let's move on and let's take a look at also at some examples. So as you can see, uh, the less amount of uh, fonts will help you create clean and cohesive look. Uh, also, um, there is a good rule uh, not to use more than two fonts in one design. Uh, that way uh, you can make sure that your design is clean and cohesive. And another example you can see on the right um, that is about font pairing. Um, I would recommend to use um, fonts together that are not too similar, that way you can uh, create a nicely, nice contrast in your design. And let's jump to the next topic, uh, space and alignment. Another essential part of any design, it can uh, give your uh, design elements breathing room, it can increase the visual impact of your, uh, of your visual elements, it can balance out heavier uh, elements, and you can emphasize a message in your design that you want to be remembered. Also, it can help you separate objects or link them together. The narrow spacing between uh, elements will show that they have stronger connection and wider spacing will show that these objects are less related. And also I prepared some examples for you as well. Um, yeah, as you can see in the first example, by properly uh, spacing and aligning your elements, you can create nicely structured design. 
And also on in the second example on the right, you can see that uh, you can balance out your objects by spacing them and aligning them. And let's move on to the next topic, lines. Uh, you can use lines in your design to organize information, to define shapes. It can even imply movement in your design and also communicate emotions. As you can see, these two lines, one is heavy and dark and other, uh, other line is thin and wavy. Uh, so you see how uh, you can make different associations with different lines. Same goes to shapes. Uh, let's uh, move on and talk about shapes as well. Yeah, shapes can be uh, divided into two categories, uh, geometrical shapes and organic shapes. Geometrical shapes are usually more simple more abstract like circle or triangle and organic shapes are usually less uniformed and it can be natural shape uh, like a leaf or more abstract shape uh, like uh, some sort of blob and also let's take a look at a couple of examples so see how you can create nice uh, designs by just using simple lines and simple shapes. You can create more abstract design or like more defined designs and create some associations. Yeah, uh, sometimes I understand that uh, it can seem like there is a lot of theory in design, but the most important part in design, at least in my opinion, is to practice. Uh, practice as much as you can and just uh, experiment and see what works and what doesn't work. And that's it on design fundamentals. Wonderful. Thank you very much for that uh, for that presentation. Deanna will be back in just a moment. She'll be given a a, a, a design t uh, demo using one of uh, one of those design tools called Canva. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Um, but I think it is worth mentioning here that when it comes to, to designing, um, the human brain itself is hardwired to, to, to recognize patterns. So when you're designing uh, and it just doesn't look right, trust those instincts, okay? Because, uh, because uh, again, the, uh, the, the, the human brain is, uh, is a great tool to recognize something that just doesn't fit. So if it, if it looks wrong, Trust that instinct and 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 make those make those tweaks so that it uh, so that it appears as it should to you. Okay, and if you uh, and just a shout out to Diana, if you uh, want an example of how talented she is, she is she created all the designs for the uh, for the slides in today's presentation. So uh, wonderful work there. But it is time for our first coupon code giveaway of the day. So go ahead and get your Printify accounts out, navigate to, uh, click that little green button uh, on the upper right hand corner, go navigate to the payment section and go down to where it says coupons and get ready to uh, put in today's coupon code. But before we do, I wanna make sure everybody out there, if you have not already subscribed to our YouTube channel, please go ahead and do that right now. Click that button and subscribe. And uh, since we're talking about YouTube videos, go ahead and check out our video that is already that is already uh, uh, pending up on our YouTube channel. It will go live in 24 hours, and it is our Green Eggs and Cash Easter Challenge, where we will be giving away uh, prize money to uh, people that um, successfully. Um, Co collect elements from different videos that we have, and it'll be a chance for you to, to put, some, put some money into your Printify account. So if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel, and then click on the Green Eggs and Cash Easter Challenge, and uh, click the bell icon and be notified in 24 hours when that goes live so you can be the first to participate, okay? All right, so you wanna win some money? All right, this is the first code, are you ready? Design guides, all one word spelled just like this. Go ahead, I, I can hear uh, keyboards fe feverishly typing all over the world. Um, again, if, uh, if, if, you, if you are the winner, go ahead and let us know in the chat so we can all celebrate, celebrate your win. 
And uh, if you didn't win, well, you'll have one more chance later in today's presentation, okay? Wonderful. All right. Let's move along and start and talk about actually creating the design where Deanna will now do a demonstration using Canva. Okay, go ahead and take it away, Deanna, please. Yeah, uh, you can see my Canva screen, right? Yes, go right ahead. Okay, so let's create a design in Canva. Uh, I will go here and click this button right here, create a design. And for this particular design, I will uh, pick this one option right here, custom size. And here I will type in my uh, size of the print area of the t-shirt. We will talk a little bit more about it later where you can find this uh, print size requirements. So I will just click uh, this button right here, create new design. So now I can start uh, creating my design. I want to make something to be associated with spring, something cheerful, and I want also to make a text-based design. Uh, so let's go here and click this button right here on the text. As you can see, what I like about Canva, it really offer, offers a lot of templates um, and it can really help you. But for this particular design, I will just add a text box right here. And I will just type in uh, my text. And uh, for this design, I want it to be big and bold and cover the most uh, of the print area. So I will divide uh, the text uh, into three lines. So it will nicely cover a lot of space. And now I can pick a font for my text. I will go right here. And here you can see that Canva offers a lot of fonts. You can just explore and see what you like the most. You can also upload uh, your own font right here. But for this design, I want to make something bold, but still friendly kind of. I think this font right here will work nicely for this design. And let's also change the color of our text. So I will go right here, click right here, and here you can change the colors of your elements and click add a new color. So I want it to be like green to be associated with spring, uh, but I also want to pick dark color so it will be like with a good contrast. I think something like this will work nicely for this design. And and now I think that these lines are a little bit too spaced out. So I want to narrow down the spacing between lines and you can do it uh, right here. Spacing uh, here, you can adjust the spacing between the letters and also between lines. So let me just bring it a little bit down I think this will be all right. Something like this, yeah. And now I will just center my text uh, on the page. And I also want to add some elements to my text uh, to be more interesting, more visually pleasing. Uh, I can do it right here by clicking uh, this button right here on the elements and you can type in what you're looking for in the search bar and Canva will offer a lot of elements, graphic elements, photos. Um, but to save some time, I will just uh, pick uh, some flower elements that I already used recently. 
So I will pick this flower right here. I can change the size of my element. I can uh, rotate it. And we talked about spacing out elements so they are not too cluttered together. But for this particular design, I want to break this rule a little bit and bring uh, these elements uh, very close together so I can create this um, intertwined effect. I will show you quickly how to do it. So I will place my element right here and now I want it to be behind the text. Uh, then I will click, uh, right click on my element and you can see a lot of options right here. So you can align it, you can arrange and I want it to be behind the text, so I will uh, click this button right here, send backwards. Uh, now I have to copy and paste this element right here. And again, I will right click on my element and I will press copy. Also notice how um, Canva also shows um, shortcuts. I really recommend using them. They will save you a lot of time. So I can also uh, click Command C and Command V to copy and paste my element. Now I have to perfectly align them together and uh, I can now uh, see how the, there are two elements. One is in front of the text and one is behind the text. And now I can just cut some parts of it and it will create this intertwined effect. So now I will just repeat this process uh, again with um, more elements to fill uh, area more. I will just change the size of my element, will rotate it and I will place it in some empty space. And I, uh, again, I will um, send it to back and I will just copy and paste it in. Now I can, again, just crop some parts of the element that is in front of the text and see how it creates this effect. And I will just add quickly a couple more elements. And again, repeating the same process all over again with a couple more elements. Yeah, now I can just crop some part and I will add just one more element. Another thing I will, I would recommend really to use elements that are similar uh, in one design. So that way you can create a cohesive look and you can find similar elements in Canva by pressing this button right here and it will show you uh, more elements like this. Uh, see how many elements Canva offers. It's really great, I think. Also, when you find found some uh, element that you like and you want to use in other design, you can also press this button right here and start it. So it will be added in your gallery and next time uh, you can find it really quick. But let me just quickly finish my design. Yeah, I think it looks nice now. Let me just check, zoom in a little bit and check that everything is looking good. I think I'm happy with my design now, so I now will save it uh, to add to Printify t-shirt later on. So I will click this button right here and I will go here, press download. 
And to be added on a T-shirt, I want to save it as PNG file, and I have to click uh, this uh, box right here to be saved with transparent background. And that's it. I will just press download, and it will download my design. Wonderful, simple and easy, just like that. Uh, just like that, you can, create your, you can create your own design in minutes, download, put them up on a, on a Printify product, and you can be selling in literally, in literally minutes. Thank you so much for that demonstration. Uh, people in the chat are absolutely loving it, uh, so, so that's great. Um, and it should be noted that uh, Deanna used just the free trial version of Canva to create these images, which any of you can go and, out and get right now. Okay, and when it comes to other free and low cost design tools out there, there are a ton of them out there. Okay, um, there are uh, not to mention Canva, but there's also Procreate and uh, Photopea, Pixar, uh, Pixel, Pixlr, however you pronounce that, and then of course Kittle. And shout out to Drew from Kittle. Kittle has agreed to do a uh, webinar with us in in May where we'll uh, explore that tool a little bit more. But uh, the point is is to go out there and search, try out the free versions, the free trials out there, find which tools works for you and and speaks directly to the way you want to design. And that and that makes sense. And then when and then uh, at some point when it uh, when you when you found the tool of your choice, you can go ahead and uh, and and go go all in for 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 the paid version. Okay, but they're all really not that expensive. Okay, Diana, what is what is your uh, what is your uh, tool of choice when you're designing? Well, right now I personally um, use Photoshop and Illustrator and Figma. Yeah, but maybe it's uh, a little bit too complicated in, at first. And yeah. yeah, I do recommend also to use Canva because it's really user friendly. That's right. I have Photoshop and tools like that, uh, Illustrator, that's really sort of some advanced level stuff. So uh, work up to that uh, once, you, once, you get, uh, once you get your feet wet with, with some of these, these other tools. But the point being, there's, there's something out there for everyone under the sun. So search them out and see what works for you, okay? All right, well, let's go ahead and continue on and just talk quickly about some print-on-demand specifics because I want to get back to another demo here shortly that Deanna's going to do where she's going to upload that, uh, that, that, that design into our mock-up generator, okay? So just quickly, um, speaking of, of our products, just be aware that there are uh, different uh, print areas that you need to account for, different uh, sizes for your designs uh, where maybe one uh, a t-shirt design may or may not work well on an all-over print design. Um, but uh, uh, there, there was some talk in the chat about all over print designing, and I believe we did put a, a, a link in there for a uh, to one of our previous webinars we did where we did a deep dive into all over printing with Hickam from one of our print providers, Subliminator. So do check that out if you're interested in all over printing. Okay, but uh, but just be but just be aware that uh, that you'll need to. Uh, 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 may need to scale your designs uh, differently, and we'll get into that a little bit later in, in the presentation, okay? But there are, for non-DTG products, for a selected number of non-DTG products, there are what's called the bleed areas that you need to account for. And we're talking about things like pillows and uh, 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 pouches and, and, and canvas bags, things that need to be assembled, okay? So there's what's known as the safe area where you wanna put your design elements that you, want, uh, that you, that you uh, don't want hidden, the print area where you, where you still want to have uh, design elements covered, and then the bleed area where you still want to account for, uh, that you still wanna account for with your design. So use the, entire, uh, um, use the entire template because if you don't cover any of, if you don't cover the, uh, area uh, completely, you run the risk of that product being uh, printed with blank spaces, which are going to turn out white, which you don't want. Okay, and that bleed area is to count for the parts of the product that need to be assembled. Be uh, so, like where where it will be stitched together with with the seams and stuff like that. So just mind the bleed areas, make sure those are accounted for, and and you'll see a little pop up in our uh, mock-up generator when you're when you're designing these. Just sort of a, a stop sign to say, hey, make sure you account for those bleed areas okay and then be aware of design scaling the uh the mock-up uh, for, to say, for t-shirts that you see in our uh, mock-up generator is size L 
Okay, so you'll be designing for size L and that design will be scaled down for, for smaller sizes. But when we get into XL and the bigger sizes, well, that won't be scaled up because what you've done is you've reached the limit of, the, uh, of what the printing machine can, uh, can successfully print, okay? So if, you, if you're aware of this, you can account for this in your designs and I believe we have a, uh, uh, a Help Center article that we're gonna pop into the chat that uh, talks about this in more detail. But just be aware that, that design scaling is a thing and it, and it is something you will have to account for, okay? All right, well, um, let's get into using Printify's mockup generator. And we do have another article that, from our blog about what's new with our, with our mockup generator that I, I wanna uh, pop into the chat right now. Um, but um, Diana is going to give us a presentation on how to put that design that she just made in Canva up onto a t-shirt. So Diana, please take it away. Yeah, let's finally add my design to Printify. Um, so I will go to catalog and I will pick some best-selling t-shirt in Printify. I think this one right here will work perfectly. And let's click start designing and I will just drop my design right here and Yeah, now uh, my design is uploaded to a t-shirt. Now I can change the scale if I need to and can also change the position. Um, also, you can use this uh, buttons right here to align your design. Another amazing tool in Printify Mockup Generator is uh, creating patterns, you can easily create patterns. I think maybe this is not the best design for the pattern, but I just want to show you how easy you can create awesome patterns. And you can change the spacing here and the angle, but for this design, let's just make it one. Um, and I can also uh, press uh, this button right here and it will just uh, fill all of the area. I want it uh, to be a little bit uh, more closer to the neck. Uh, so the text is more on the chest. I will just bring it a little bit more up and I will go to preview and we'll check that Everything looks nice. We'll check some lifestyle images. I think it looks nice. Also, I can add more colors if I want to. Um, another awesome thing that you can create specific design uh, for each uh, color of the t-shirt. Like for example, right here, you see when I click black and uh, this text right here kind of disappears. So if I want to, I can go to Canva and change uh, colors of my text and I can upload specific design to a black color. Yeah, so now my t-shirt is ready to be added uh, to my store. Wonderful, and it's that easy. That's absolutely wonderful. So in just a few minutes, you created a, a design, uploaded it to your Printify account. As soon as you publish it to your, to your sales channel, you can start accepting orders. So that's absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much for your demonstration, uh, Diana. I know people, people out there are already uh, expressing their thanks in the chat and it's absolutely, and it's absolutely wonderful, okay? Um, so let's, uh, let's, let's uh, wrap up our, uh, our, our presentation today with talking about a little bit of uh, practical uh, POD design tips that you should be aware of, at least for the beginner. But before we do, I wanna pop a couple uh, links in, into the chat about designing for t-shirts and, and finding popular designs from our blog. Okay, that's gonna be a, a good resource for you to uh, start at about uh, talking about design placement on t-shirts and uh, looking for inspiration, that sort of thing, okay? So it, we're, gonna, we're gonna pop those 
in, into the chat. Make sure you take advantage of those, okay? But moving on, um, let's talk about what you don't want to do. Okay, first of all, stay away from those gradient designs. And by gradient designs, I mean gradients, I mean designs that kind of fade from one from a, from a light color up, up to a solid. Because what happens is, because uh, the, the way uh, designs are printed, at least on t-shirts and garments, is an underbase is, is applied. And uh, if, uh, if, the, uh, print, if the print facility senses a gradient design, well, it looks as that as being a solid color and can't distinguish between those. So an underbase will be applied and you won't get the look that you want. So stay away from those gradient designs, okay? And stay away from uploading uh, artificially enhanced images of poor designs, okay? Um, this, I've seen this happen a lot where someone has a design that they really like, but they're trying to put it on a, you know, a shower curtain or a blanket or something like that, and it's just not big enough. So they make the mistake of artificially enhancing the file rather than improving the image. And what you end up doing is actually creating a high resolution image, a high resolution design, a high resolution file of a blurry design. And that's not what you want because our mock-up generator is going to recognize that as being a a good design uh, but the end result is not going to be what you want okay and stay away from super bright sparkly gold and silver colors with those sparkles in it because that's something that the that our print providers cannot reproduce okay they, they, because of the sparkles in, in in that kind of paint it's going to clog up the jets so that's that, that's something you want to stay away from and uh and please 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 do not use copyrighted images and stay away from stealing other people's designs. Uh, this, this, is, this, is, this, is, this is frowned upon and it is, I like to say, it is not a long-term strategy for success. So stay away from that. You've been warned. It's dirty pool, okay? All right, so um, be sure to follow the, the uh, print file requirements you'll see in the lower right-hand corner. You'll see the file requirements for each product. Uh, use that as you, as you are designing so that you can upload a proper uh, uh, design file. You're able to, uh, uh, there's, there's one of those little uh, designing guideline pop-up windows that I mentioned before when, we, when I talked about the, the, the bleed areas that pop up and just remind you about uh, the do's and don'ts of designing for that specific product. And you can also download those, those templates yourself and, and work on them offline, okay? All right, and uh, it should be noted RGB and CMYK. Now, what are those? Those are, uh, those are, um, uh, those are, 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 are different color styles that, that are uh, used, that they're in use in, in, in our world today. RGB is the color spectrum used for uh, your cell phone, your video, your uh, television at home, the monitor on your laptop uh, on which you, you are watching t today's webinar. And CMYK is the color process that our print providers use, okay? And they're not necessarily compatible, meaning that the image that you upload and that you're working on on either your design tool or on Printify, you're gonna see that in RGB. And uh, what happens is when that's submitted for, for printing, that'll be automatically converted to CMYK. And I wanna pop in another uh, link to one of our videos from our, uh, from our YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe as you, as you watch it, um, where uh, our pre presenter, Leah, does a deep dive on this and, and explains it a little bit more in detail so you know what to expect. But it's always recommended that you create your files and upload them to Printify in RGB. Uh, that way, when they're converted to CMYK, and uh, if, if if it, if it does need to be color corrected, um, you will lose as little of that color as possible, okay? Now, but for the most part, it's not gonna affect you, um, but if you're focusing on those super bright designs, that may be something you have to account for. And I've got a little bit of, a, of an example here for you to see. You can see on the left what you'd see on your computer screen, so some bright colors in RGB, and then what it will look like when it is uh, converted to, uh, to CMYK. Okay, and some design tools allow you to do this just so you can kind of go, go back and forth so you can see what it will look like after the conversion, okay? But again, most of the time, it's not something you're gonna, be, you're gonna have to worry about, okay? And make sure when you are designing that you really know who you are, who you are targeting. That's why I mentioned it at, at, at the top. And it's, you have to um, analyze the trends that are out there and uh, know what's going on in the space in which you are targeting. What are the people doing? What are they thinking about? It's important to kind of kind of do an exercise where you talk about, or, uh, where you um, think about what kind of uh, music your target demographic listens to, uh, what kind of food they eat, what they do for fun, that sort of thing. So you build a picture of them in your mind. So it's easier for you to find out exactly 
which direction to go with your designs to, again, create something that they actually wanna buy, okay? Keyword research is a part of that, using a research tool, like uh, one of the many that, that are available online so you can find out what's trending on various sites, okay? And uh, validate your ideas, okay? That's what's, that's what's beautiful about, about Printify, is that you're able to uh, use the print-on-demand method to try out new, de new designs on products, and you're not really out any money because you're not buying stock, so if you, uh, stumble upon a good design that that people want to buy. You're already ready to go ba uh, be, because of the because of the business you've chosen to be in with Printify and print on demand. Okay, but we're going to pop into the chat here um, a link to our marketing guide where uh, where it does a deeper dive into in, into this aspect of the business, and you can also download our calendar um, that gives you access to all the little uh, holidays that you can plan for, design for, and not just the big ones, but all the little ones in between. Okay? But follow the trends on social media. That's what's beautiful about print on demand. It, uh, we, we've just demonstrated how quickly you can, you can create a, a design. When something happens in the zeitgeist, you can create a design on, on the, one of those, uh, one of those um, design tools and publish it to your store and take advantage of those trends when they're on the upswing rather than where, when they're on the downswing because that's where you'll be able to capture mo the most sales. Okay? That's one of the biggest advantages of being a print on demand merchant. Okay? And you already have your designs. You can apply them across all of our one, uh, all of our 800 some odd products. Okay, so if you have these designs ready to go, and all of a sudden fanny packs become a thing, well, you can quickly apply those designs, boom, and have your fanny packs ready for uh, for sale in seconds. Okay, so that's really important to keep in mind that you'll be able to pivot quickly according to trends and uh, and the seasons. Okay, all right. Well, here we go. Uh, we're going to do our second coupon code giveaway, and there was a bit of confusion in the chat, so let me just be clear one more time, okay? I'm going to ask you to have your Printify accounts up and ready, okay? Click on the little green button in the upper right-hand corner. There will be a drop-down menu, and you will see Payments. Click on that, and you'll scroll down to where it says Coupons. I will, I'm about to announce the second coupon code, and what's going to happen is the first person who enters in the coupon code will win $50 of Printify sales credit. Okay? And if you don't win, you'll see a notice that says this coupon doesn't exist because we've only created one of these coupons and that means you were too slow. Okay? Don't be like Calypso Creative Space who uh, pulled their car open to open their account. Please be safe if you're driving and you're, and you're, and you're listening along. Okay? Be safe on the road. Okay? And uh, Devin, to your comment about everybody getting $50 of Printify sales credit, I mean, what's the fun in that? Okay, let's, let's, let's make a bit of a contest out of it. And if you win, let us know in the chat so we can all celebrate your win, okay? All right. YouTube, spelled just like this, one word. And be sure to subscribe to our channel while you're at it if you haven't already. Put that in as quickly as you can. Okay, and uh, while you're at it and we're talking about YouTube, go to our Green Eggs and Cash Easter Challenge video that is, gonna, that is uh, already preloaded onto our YouTube channel. Click on the little bell icon uh, so you get a notice when it goes live because it's a super cool contest. We'll be able to collect elements from different videos through, uh, through, throughout the challenge where you can win big, big prize money. Okay, so be sure to do that, okay? All right. Let's talk about let's uh, let's talk about the key takeaways and let's get right to the Q and A session because I know we have a lot of questions to address today. Okay, um, if you take anything away from today's presentation, find your design inspiration. Okay, in online marketplaces, social media, the world at large. Okay, uh, in in the, in the spaces in which you congregate online, in the spaces in which your uh, your uh, your customers congregate, the the world itself is a great place to find design inspiration. Okay. Be mindful of color contrast to attack attention. Um, and again, you can go back and rewatch this, uh, this, uh, uh, this presentation as many times as you like, so you can fully uh, take in uh, the information that Deanna presented. And um, uh, text designs, pay attention to the uh, legibility and the alignment. Uh, be mindful of the human brain and it's, and it's, and it's uh, being hardwired to recognize patterns. If it doesn't look right, it's probably, it's, probably, it's probably telling you something, so go with those instincts, okay? Space and proper alignment to make sure it's structured. 
and um, every uh, be mindful of the print areas and make sure of those and uh, be uh, and account for those bleed areas. You sure you want to have all those those bleed areas covered with a either a background color or a design element. Otherwise, you risk ha having your product printed printed with blank white spaces. Okay, make sure you're aware of those print file uh, requirements and upload uh, prints in the proper resolution and be mindful of the niches, trends, and events uh, that, that are going on so that you can uh, capitalize on what's going on quickly and again, capture those sales on, on the upswing rather than the downturn, okay? And you've got those designs, try them out on different products. If they sell, that's great. Then you've stumbled onto a winner and if not, well, at least you've learned something, okay? All right. Well, uh, I'm nothing if not a shameless self-promoter, so I'm going to make one more plug for my live Q&A session. Please join me Mondays and Wednesdays uh, where you can sit down with me and we can talk about anything in the print-on-demand universe in an effort to make you more profitable. I love doing these. We've been talking about all kinds of different subjects lately. We've been doing uh, dem uh, demos on, on Printify, about designing, about how to, how to use all the, all the tips and tricks in Printify. We've been doing key keyword research and we've been having a lot of really, really cool discussions. So, we're going to pop that link into the chat, click on it, and reserve your spot today. It's 100% free, and I'd love to sit down and, and help you be more profitable, okay? And uh, be sure to join us for our, uh, in, in two weeks. Uh, for, because we're staying with this, with this theme of, of design, and in two weeks we'll be doing a presentation on how to, um, how to explore the world of personalized designs and how perfect the, the print-on-demand uh, business model is to, to uh, really make use of, of personalized designs to take, your, take you and your store to the next level. So stay tuned, two weeks, we're going to be bringing that to you as well. Okay? All right, so... I promised you a live Q&A session, and I'm a man of my word. So uh, Deanna and I will, 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 will sit back and answer your questions. Uh, I'm going to pull those up here in just a second here. Um, and uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, 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 ask, answer some questions. Deanna, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, wonderful. Well, our first question comes today from Linda Blatchford. Linda, thank you very much for joining. Um, uh, using Canva, how do you design a size of 12,750 by 9,750 for a pet bed? And that's the, that's the, the, uh, uh, that's the, well, Deanna, how, how would, how, how would you answer Linda's question? Um, I guess the problem is that, uh, when you type in this, uh, size, uh, sizes, it won't allow you, uh, to make this big design. I hope I'm right. <laughs> I haven't tried it, to be honest, uh, to make uh, as big of design in Canva specifically. But I can recommend try um, make a page that is smaller and use uh, designs that are uh, vector designs, like that can be saved as SVG files. So when you save them as SVG files, um, you will be able to size them up uh, in Printify mockup generator and it shouldn't lose the quality because it stays as a vector file. For a raster design, I'm not sure how to, what could be the trick to do such a big design. Yeah, that's a that, that's a big one. Uh, good luck to you, Linda. I hope you sell a lot of pet beds. Um, and uh, and, and uh, one other one other way to design for something that big is to use a pattern, something like that that repeats itself. Um, that isn't necessarily an entire big and a, a, a one major big image that uh, that 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 needs to be that size. So that's something you might want to consider. Okay. Um, but moving on, thank you very much for your question, Linda. Um, this next one comes from Dwight Coleman. Coleman, hope I'm pronouncing your last name correctly, but thank you for joining us, Dwight. Dwight asks, after going through all the products available, you're thinking of creating 33 different items with each piece of your original art. Are you crazy? Um, well, speaking, uh, Speaking on your mental health, uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to go there. But are you crazy for designing 33 different items? I don't think so. People do it all the time. I mean, that's that's the beauty of having access to a catalog like ours with 800 some uh, products is that you're able to do that. Okay, and then you put them up for sale, and then hopefully somebody wants to buy them, and then you'll learn that maybe only. 
you know, 20, 15, seven, or one item is, 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 uh, is, is popular. And then you've at least explored that possibility and you know, well, great, my audience wants, wants this product or they want these products, okay? So I don't think you're crazy. You can also save uh, designs uh, in Printify um, as templates and it will save you some time. That's right. That's a new feature actually in our mock-up generator where you can save an entire design template and reuse it for later. It's, just, it's, it's going to save you a ton of time rather than uploading all those design elements one by one. Okay. Um, thank you uh, very much. Uh, Linda asked another question. Okay. Oh, Linda, Linda's very active in chat today. Uh, in Canva, if I have a white PNG to go on a black background, how can I reverse it to have it go on a white background? Well, I think I think that's that, that's just as easy as changing the uh, color of the design element, right? Like you, you can do that with the press of a button, if I'm not mistaken, right? Mm, yes, I guess so. So I, I might uh, not understood the question. Yeah, I, I I I think what what Linda is asking is she has a a white version of the, of, the, of the design, but now she wants to uh, she she wants to. Uh, re reverse it to a black color so that she can put it on a, on, on a, on a white background so it stands out, okay? Um, so I think it's just as simple as clicking on, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the design and changing the color, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, exactly. okay? Yeah. And uh, Linda, you bring up a, um, a, good, a, a good discussion topic here uh, where, where it's anybody out there that's thinking about placing a white design on a white t-shirt or a black design on a black t-shirt and thinking it's gonna look cool? Um, well, first of all, n no. And second of all, we're not even gonna print it because that's, that's just not what we do, okay? It's, 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 uh, it, it will immediately be, be rejected, so stay away from doing that, okay? All right, Abdul Kadir, thank you for joining us, Abdul. Abdul asks, greetings from India. Greetings, greetings from India. Um, I would love to hear some tips and tricks for minimalistic designs, minimalistic designs. You can try uh, make designs with uh, simple text, make it like smaller and elegant and make sure to use just one color um, and also one font. <laughs> yeah, I think the point here is just to keep it simple. Okay, yeah. um, it's it, minimalistic designs sounds to me like that that would be one of the one of the more uh, uh, simpler ways to to design, but here, uh, uh, Abdul, I would recommend that you check out what other uh, what, what what your competition in that space is doing and draw inspiration from them. Okay, and then take 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 their ideas, make them your own, and take them in your own direction. Okay, um, because uh, yeah, I, th I think it's basically just has to do with the uh, with the design elements you do instead of using big bold colors and 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 and, and uh, uh, fonts. You know, take it down nice and and and, and think small. Okay. Exactly. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and move on. Uh, John G says, uh, "What size do you recommend for mugs versus T-shirts?" Okay. Well, you'll you'll find the uh, design size specifications on on both the mugs and the T-shirts. Just uh, as you click into the uh, mock-up generator, you'll see that in the gray box in the lower right-hand side, and you'll find the information that you're looking for right there. Okay. Um. Okay, Joanne French, uh, thank you for joining us, Joanne. Um, asks, can you use any design elements in Canva without any licensing issues? Okay, and yes, I mean, anything you design in Canva and, and download yourself is, is uh, by definition yours and you're, and you're free to use that. That's the beauty of some of these design tools is that, uh, yeah, you've created it, it's yours, have at it. Okay. Um, the Priscilla, and that's spelled very interestingly. Thank you, very, I've, uh, thank you, the Priscilla, for joining us. She has a question: Can you use the graphics from Canva to sell on your items without worrying about copyright trademark issues? Well, I think we answered that with the previous question. Uh, again, uh, you, the 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 designs you create you create are yours, and you're free to use them as you like. Okay. Um, rebel, rebel, rebellarian, rebellarian. 
has a question. Uh, thank you for joining us, Revelerian. Uh, can Printify partner with Canva so that we have more Canva elements? Canva seems rather limited. Um, well, uh, we don't have a uh, partnership with Canva or any uh, des any design tool, but um, uh, maybe in the future. Um, but if Canva doesn't have what you're looking for, well, why not try one of those other, the multiple of design tools out there that, 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 that offer something different, okay? There's the tools like Kittle out there that is, is, is very similar in nature to Canva. Uh, shout out to Kittle. They're going to be joining us in, uh, in, in, in May for a webinar. Um, so if that's something you want to explore, again, all of these design tools have either free, free trials or free versions that you can kind of uh, uh, try out. So if Canva isn't giving you what you want, Maybe you can find it somewhere else. Okay. All right. Uh, 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 Bonnie Vent asked, does Canva handle the placement like Place It does? Well, Canva gives you the design and you can pl place it anywhere you want on the uh, mock-up generator. Okay, and then uh, check where check where uh, check how it looks on the uh, on the, using the preview tool that Deanna um, uh, demonstrated earlier, and use use your eyeballs to kind of decide if it's in the right spot. And if you have a shirt in your closet that has the placement that you're trying to uh, mimic, well, put that get that out and then put it next to next to you as you're looking at that preview, and use your you use your judgment and your and your eyeballs again. Your eyes are a powerful tool here. Um, but but uh, one of the one of the articles that we popped into the chat about t-shirt design says that uh, generally you want that that design to start about four inches down from the collar okay and it goes in and it, 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 it explains it explains it uh, uh, more thoroughly there I won't go into it I, I'm gonna ask you to uh, check out that blog, blog article that we put in the chat earlier okay and, and if you missed it in the chat uh, you can just go to our, our, our blog on our uh, platform and, and and search for it in there okay all right, um, Carla asks, um, uh, Carla Craft asks, thank you for joining Carla. Um, does the print have a white background since he said he was, she was not using the pro version? How did she remove the white box background? No, actually I was using pro version, but just a free trial. So you can use it yourself. Uh, Come our first 30 day free trial. And that way you can save designs without background. Yeah, if you remember during the presentation, as she was saving her design, she just clicked that little box that says uh, uh, use a, save using a transparent background. And it's really that simple. Then it removes that white box and you can use it uh, as, as, a, uh, as just, a, uh, as, as just the, the design elements that you created. Okay. Um, all right. Oh my goodness. We're a little bit over time, but I want to get to one last question before I say goodbye today. Um, it's coming from Kristen Swanson. Thank you so much for joining Kristen. Hope you learned something today. Uh, Kristen asks, how do you add different patterns for one product without having to have multiple products? I was hoping the customer can choose between patterns without me having to create multiple items. Okay. Well, here uh, it's if you're creating multiple patterns. Well, it's technically a, a, a different design. Okay. Uh, although you may be talking about a similar theme, um, how we recognize that in this industry as that being a a, a unique design. Now you're able to um, to upload different designs for different colors. Uh, let's say, for instance, you're designing a Bella Canvas 3001, and you want, uh, as as the as was asked before, you you want to put a a uh, what a uh, black design on a white T-shirt, but a white design on a on a on a black T-shirt. You're able to do that um, by by uh, by just uploading a uh, separate design by color. But what you're asking, um, I don't know anybody that that quite does it like that. Um, and besides, we're we're not really set up to facilitate what what it is you're asking. So I would recommend for you to create. Uh, these these designs um, as 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 unique products, and then offer them for your for sale to your customers that way. Okay. All right. Well, um, let's go ahead and bring this session to a close. Um, Diana, thank you so much for joining us. Again, uh, I, I know I could tell by the chat that people were just loving your presentation, and I hope everybody got something out of it that you can use. Again, we're going to be exploring this design concept uh, in next in our next webinar in two weeks, where we'll be talking about um, personalized products and 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 how to uh, make that work not only on your storefront but also on the Printify 
side of things, so be sure to tune in for that, okay? But I promised you the opportunity to win a uh, to, to, to win some prizes. So right now, we're gonna pop in the link to our survey where you will find our trivia question based on the information that was presented today. I hope you were paying attention. Uh, the survey is only gonna take you about 30 seconds, and uh, I promise, and then just let us know how we did today, and let us know what you wanna hear from us in the future. Um, and again, three lucky winners who answer the trivia question correctly will be contacted uh, and we will give you a prize package of $50 put right into your Printify account, a Printify webinars hoodie, and a customized Printify webinars mug. And these are exclusive products. We've only made a few of these, so you can consider yourselves very, very lucky, okay? Wow. All right, Deanna, thank you so much. Um, <laughs> thank you for joining us. And um, I... We're going to go ahead and close out the session. Um, thank you so much. Join us next time. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, take advantage of the Green Eggs and Cash Easter Challenge. Uh, click on the video. Click the bell icon so you are notified in less than 24 hours when it goes live so you can be the first to participate in the contest and win some real money. So for me, Martin, I hope to see you at my live Q&A session uh, on Mondays and Wednesdays. Thank you so much for joining us for this Printify webinar and happy designing and good luck.